Uh, Josh, a couple of uh, questions about licensing. Um, to clarify, even after Fast Track, we will still need to take additional pre licensing courses like Adjuster Pro. Absolutely, you have to get a license to get work. You do not need a license to take my training or anybody else's training that I know of. This, uh, there may be a, an outfit out there that wants you to have a license. I think Veteran Adjusting School did, but they, they have uh, recently just closed. Um, or er, guy kind of. He didn't retire, but he's he's kind of moved on from that. Um, but for almost every other training outfit that I know of, you do not need a license. But most IA firms will not really take you very seriously unless you have at least one license, preferably a bunch. Um, and I, again, I think right now that's Texas all the way through Florida and up to the North Carolina. Um, so. This is not like a, it's, somebody else asks, i um, already taken free license course for my home state. Should I complete that first before FTD? Um, I, they, they just need to be done. Whatever order you want to do them in, um, probably getting the license um, may trump the training. But if you can do them concurrently, even better, work on the licensing stuff a little for, you know, an hour and then work on the fast track stuff for the, another hour and then be done with it for the day um would probably be the, the most the, the absolute best thing this video is sponsored by haig education use code adjuster tv at checkout to get a huge discount on the best adjuster certifications damage field guides and adjuster tools at haigeducation.com i live in colorado non-licensing state and got my texas license as my dhs i now live in california I've heard there's been some crackdowns when it comes to designated home state licenses. Would this be a problem for me? I think you can convert your Texas, um, you, you can convert California into your home state. Um, but as long as you've got the license, I don't know what a, what kind of a crackdown there would be. You're not going to get crackdowns from the IA firms. As long as you have a valid license, you can work in whatever state that, that you're licensed in. My credit is bad from a divorce. Is it worth my, this is the last question, um, is bad from a divorce. Is it worth my time to even try at this point? Well, yeah, of course it is. Um, I don't know how bad your credit is, KC phone, um, but credit can be repaired over time. And I think as long as, you know, a phone call to human resources to explain situations can go a long way to getting you around um, any kind of like, you know, maybe they say you have to have at least a 600 credit score or whatever. Um, and you've got like a 525, right? Well, here's the reasons why lost the house in a fire, you know, this and that happened. Um, you know, everything just went sideways all at the same time, got divorced. Um, you know, you can appeal to the people to say, hey, listen, you know, I, I, I don't have like a lot of consumer debt. I don't have like, you know, a bunch of like car loans that went bad and a bunch of repossessions and all that kind of stuff. I just have like this one major event. Um, so, and the same thing goes for licenses. You guys may have noticed that that's a lot of states have a background check. Um, and for, to get your license and if you've had, some kind of like running with the law in the past, like you went to, got busted at a college party, underage drinking, or you, you know, you went joyriding in, in somebody's car that wasn't yours with your friends and you got busted for that. And maybe there was a felony or something on your, 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 uh, or you got in a fight or something like that. Um, I think the main thing that they're, they're looking for is fraud related stuff like stealing. Um, so if you, you know, have something on your record that you, you think it will disallow you or that you don't want to, you don't want to answer dishonestly on the application just call the department of insurance at that particular state you know and say hey listen you know here's i have a copy of my record right here this is the only thing that happened um to explain the circumstances and say you know is there any way i can get you know is, Will this disqualify disqualify me from getting a Texas license or a Florida license or New Mexico or whatever it is? And just ask, right? And you may find that people are like, yeah, no, you're fine. You know, we're really just looking for, you know, people that were like did Ponzi schemes or like, 
you know, have violations with the SEC or whatever it is, right? There is only one company that provides E&O and general liability insurance solely to the insurance industry, and that's Kaplik. They even have drone and cyber coverages. Download the free guide all about the different kinds of insurance that you as the adjuster should carry at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. Misto got all my got all lines licensed from Texas and all the Gulf license state TWIA certs working any and state farm certification. What are my chances to get deployed? That's a tough one. And that, you know, I, I think that the more licenses you have, the, the higher your your chances. TWIA, absolutely. It's Texas Wimpool. Um, state farm certification, absolutely. State Farm is um, the biggest insurance company by far. And um, they're going to be, they, they have kind of an open door policy for new people. Um, so they, and I think in a lot of cases, they, requ depending on the size of the event, they require at least a minimum number of, of new people to, for, to be trained on the job, on the job, right? So they, so one of the requirements that they have is that, you know, hey, if a pilot sends, 50 adjusters, at least five of them have to be brand new, right? So that's, I think that's pretty cool. Um, and I think that, I don't know what they do these days, but some of the best on the job training I got was my first storm was a state farm storm. Well, many, many adjusters for storms were state farm storms. So you get state farm, you get all state, the other one, um, certification, and if you can get that from pilot and Crawford and maybe alacrity, um, these are going to definitely increases. If there's something that happens where they're going to send people, the more of these things you have, the more chance you have of getting called. Uh, Jeff C., do you think iGuide is a good tool to use for measuring and photographing interior spaces, or is there a better alternative? So it's kind of like uh, Matterport-ish, uh, using a 360 time of flight LIDAR scanner with accuracy exceeding industry standards. That's a good question, and I would say... <clears throat> um, if you're doing flood, um, then this kind of thing is, is could be pretty useful. If you're doing a lot of like large loss fires, uh, where they really, really, really need to document absolutely everything, because with flood, not everything is going to be covered. Like a lot of contents aren't covered, um, but for something like fire, high end houses or commercial stuff. Then a Matterport camera. I'm gonna. This this seems to be lumped in with like a Matterport camera. Um, I got go iguide.com is the website I found. Um, then this this might be a good investment for you. But um, this is an iPhone 12. It has a lidar camera on it, right? That little white one. Or maybe that's a flash. One of these is a lidar camera, and I can use that LiDAR camera standing in the room and just tap it on the screen and tap in a door and tap in whatever. And it gets me more than close enough. And it goes, it's inexact mate, right? So I don't have to like have iGuide or Matterport or whoever, you know, generate a report, it takes 24 hours and they, they send me an ESX file. I got to pay an extra $60 for it or whatever. It's all just right in here. I get the measurements and the diagram at the exact same time in Xactimate Mobile. I can take photos in there. I can write the estimate while I'm standing in the room. Take the, like I was talking about the scope sheet a little while ago. I can do all that right here. So instead of writing down on my scope sheet, drywall, paint, texture, blah, 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 I just put the line items in. Drywall, boom, paint, boom, for that. You know, drywall, medium hand texture, boom. Uh, crown molding, paint, so on and so forth, right? And then I'm done in this room, look around, make sure I got everything, maybe document some contents that were damaged with the photos, um, add those in as U USR um, line items, and then pull the door closed as I'm leaving the room and then go to the next room, go to the hallway, and then go to the, right? So this, you already got one of these most likely. The Android ver version, I don't think is using the LiDAR thing, but you can still use it to build sketches and stuff. Um, but I mean, this is a four or five year old uh, phone and it works just fine for that. Get an iPad and if you've got a nice big screen you can do it on. It's a lot easier on the iPad. I, f I find, you know, I'm wearing reading glasses. So I would say long story short on that, Jeff, um, if you're doing large loss commercial fire, 
or like high end houses or big houses, uh, really big houses, and you need to really document absolutely everything, um, then iGUIDE, sure. Matterport, sure. Um, maybe to a lesser degree, Flood, but I think Xactimate Mobile is going to work really well for Flood um, with the LiDAR thing because, again, it's structural. The really, I really don't think there's really any like content stuff that outside of a few things that Flood covers. Um, NFIP, um, per, per private Flood is a different story, um, but still, you know, this is going to be the way, I think this is going to be the way, I guess it's already in your pocket. You don't have to lug in a whole extra thing. Um, but good question though. You want to make sure with, with any kind of gadget, drones, LiDAR cameras, you know, eye guide, all this kind of stuff. What you're after is what is, what's the ROI for me? What, what's going to give me the, the, the best return on my investment, right? And the investment being the investment in the time it takes to set the thing up, the cost of it, right? Any cost that you have associated with getting reports, right? A lot of this, those, those things like, I don't know about iGUIDE. Well, I can look here. But Matterport, I think, charges, you got like a monthly subscription and then they charge you for spaces and all this kind of stuff. So they're, they're charging you a lot. $33 per project. Um, Premier package, $45 per project. So you have to balance that with, well, is it going to make me enough money to cover that? Um, I, and I think really more importantly is, is that I don't want to just break even on it. I want it to make me faster and more accurate, right? If I can find a tool that can, uh, instead of me being able to close five or we'll say three, you know, large loss interior water claims a day, I can close five because I have this where I can buzz through a house pretty quickly and, and, measure, diagram, photograph, and write the estimate as I go, right, that's going to save me, that's going to dock my time. Me as an experienced adjuster using a tool like this versus just pencil and paper, um, it's going to take me a quarter of the time to do that. So I'm going to be able to add one, two, maybe three more large inspections in a day and have them done that. But when I leave the house, I'm done with it, right, with this. Um, whereas with these things, paying $45 a pop and I probably have to wait, you know, 24 hours or whatever it is um, to get a reporter an ESX or something, right? Then, then I, a lot of them don't do ESXs. These guys probably do add on ESX files. Yeah. We have to pay for like the higher end to get an ESX file. Any, any gadget like that, right? Is it going to make me faster? Is it going to make me more effective? It's, is it going to make my file better? If it doesn't do those things, um, then I'm, I'm going to pass on it. I might try it, right, to see, but I can probably get my ladder off a vehicle, put it up on the roof, scope the roof, especially with hail, uh, diagram and measure the roof, and be off of the roof, um, and maybe roughly the same amount of time that it takes for, uh, or possibly less than it takes for somebody with a drone to do it, and then they got to send the pictures off to, you know, whatever company it is, it's going to help them with the diagram and everything. Um, and I'm going to have a more accurate scope. Um, so if you, if you don't have, you know, knee issues or whatever, I don't see the point and, and you're not absolutely, utterly, completely terrified of heights, which no one can blame you because that's heights kill people every single day. You've got some fall protection or you're not super scared of heights and you're very careful. Um, you know, you don't need all, you don't need a bunch of gadgets. Find out how you can get free access to my complete online course on how to become a highly paid independent insurance adjuster right here.